Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Syed Abidi and in this two-part video I'm going to talk about the mains and applied part leakage current test as described in the IEC 60601-1 medical device standard. And as always, I'd like to remind you to view our videos that we have released in the past on other types of leakage current tests so that you can take full advantage of what we will talk about in this video. The mains and applied part leakage current test can be viewed as slightly more stringent compared to the other types of leakage current tests. And it is required for class one or class two medical devices that incorporate applied parts that may fall under the category of either F type or CF type. In other words, applied parts that may come in direct conductive contact with the patient's heart or other applications as considered necessary. During the test, leakage current of each applied part is measured while applying 110% of mains rated voltage through a current limiting resistor. So the idea behind performing the mains and applied part leakage current test is to ensure that no danger of electric shock exists for a patient that may for some unspecified reason, come in contact with an external voltage source while connected to the applied part of a medical device. Let's now take a look at how the mains and applied part leakage current test is set up and performed according to the IEC 60601-1 medical device standard. The measuring device circuit simulating the human body impedance is placed between the applied parts that are labeled as number four on the diagram and the line of a secondary transformer labeled T2. The line is connected to the measuring device circuit via a current limiting resistor for safety. The neutral and ground of T2 are also tied together in order to complete the circuit. The same test is then repeated by simulating a reverse polarity condition of T2 to measure the same leakage current in a 180 degree phase difference between T1 and T2. Great care should be taken when performing and setting up the mains and applied part leakage current tests to avoid any hazards present due to live voltage. In the next part of this video, we will be in our lab performing a few different steps of mains and applied part leakage current tests on a class one medical device.